now again you can see on your device screen a particular problem is given it is of course from the chapter of time value of money and here we have to find out the rate of interest and considering the information given as you can see mr ahnab has taken a loan from a particular bank which is dollar 10 lakh and after 10 years he will have to pay amount of dollar 17 lakh and if we consider quarterly compounding then what will be the percentage of interest or rate of interest so let's see how we can solve this problem as well so we will write problem number two and we have to write down first of all the given information so given so initially we are given here amount of present value so we can write present value that will be symbolized by pv not equal dollar here we are given 10 lakh and we are also given the amount of future value that will be paid after 10 years so we can write future value which will be symbolically written as fbn and it is dollar 17 lakh and duration or number of years that will be symbolically written by n and it is of course 10 years and we are also given here number of compounding which is symbolically written as m and it is four times as we have been said to consider here the quarterly compounding and the requirement we have to find out here rate of interest that will be symbolically written by small r and we have to find out the rate of interest so now we will just write down the equation we know future value equal present value into 1 plus r divided by m power n into m and now we have to input the given information into the equation so here future value we are given 17 lakh equal amount of present value we can see 10 lakh so 1 plus we have to find out return that means r so we are not given that percentage so we are given the number of compounding which is four times and duration 10 years that will be multiplied by number of compounding again it is four so we will write here 1 plus r divided by 4 power 40 if we multiply 10 with 4 then we will get 40 so here we have to consider as denominator that is dollar 17 lakh which will be divided by numerator it is 10 lakh so we can write here changing sides so now we can write 1 plus r divided by 4 power 40 and if we divide then we will get 1.7 and now we will take log in the both sides so we can write log 1 plus r divided by 4 power 40 equal 
log 1.7 and we can write taking log in both sides so we can write 40 log 1 plus r divided by 4 and if we find out the amount of log 1.7 then we can get here 0.2304 so you know how to find out the value of log then again I just tell you you just press on your scientific calculator the symbol of log then just press the number I mean 1.7 and press the equal sign or equal button then you will get 0.230 on and now we have to just look forward so we can write log 1 plus r divided by 4 and this amount will be divided by 40 so we can write log 1 plus r divided by 4 and if we divide then we will get point double o five seven six therefore one plus r divided by four as the rule of log if we consider in the another side it will be anti log point double o five seven six 1 plus r divided by 4 equal so now the important term or important part I know many of you you can easily understand how to find out anti log but those you do not know how to find out the value of anti log uh, for you I just telling so you take your scientific calculator and press shift and then press log and you will get the anti log then you just input this amount and press the equal button then you will get the value of anti log so we have 1.0134 1 so now we have to do r divided by 4 1.0134 1 that will be subtracted by 1 so we have r divided by 4 equal 0 0.0134 or r equal 0 0.0134 that will be multiplied by 4 and if we multiply then it will be 0 0.0536 so this is actually the result but now we have to show this into the percentage form that's why we will just multiply by 100 it will be then 5.36 percent so this is how we have to find out rate of interest considering the log so i think you have come to understand how to solve this kind of problem if we are given this information uh, to get the rate of interest so hopefully this will be also helpful for your next calculation.